Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Key, co-founder of New Eden Interactive, and today I'll be walking you through some quick and easy steps to uploading VR chat avatars from our online shop, newedenin.com. This tutorial should apply to really any of our sold avatars from New Eden Interactive, though this video will be specifically focused on PC uploads. If you're looking for a tutorial on mobile uploads, be sure to see our other video linked in the description for more details. Now with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. First things first, you'll want to make sure you have all the necessary software installed. For this tutorial, we'll be using a Windows PC, and you'll need the following programs installed on your computer. VRChat's Creator Companion, WinRAR, and the latest VRChat supported version of Unity. And one more thing, our avatars work best with Poyomi Pro, a paid shader available through their Patreon by supporting them. While there is a free version available, Poyomi Toon, it may not fully support all the features we've designed for our avatars. So to make sure your avatar shines, we recommend using the Pro version. You can find this in the links below. Next up, you'll want to grab the avatar files. If you've purchased from our website, newenint.com, be sure to check your email for the download links and password files. Don't see it? Be sure to check your spam folder, as it can sometimes end up there. If you've bought from sites like Gumroad, Booth, or Jinxy, just head over to your account's library to grab the files there. At this point, you should have all your software installed, avatar files downloaded, and a copy of Poyomi Pro ready to go. If that sounds right, then we can go ahead and get started. You can start by opening VRChat's Creator Companion and click on Create New Project. You'll then select the Unity 2022 Avatar Project option, name your project, choose where you want to save it, and click Create Project. This will set up the project within Creator Companion. Once that's done, feel free to select Open Project and this will launch Unity and start importing the latest VRChat SDK. Feel free to grab a snack as this could take a few minutes. Once we're inside Unity and it's finished compiling all of its scripts, it's time to import Poyomi Pro. Simply drag the shader file you downloaded into the project window, and when the pop-up appears, hit Import and let Unity do its thing. Just like before, this will also take a few minutes. Next, you'll want to locate the avatar files you downloaded earlier. They're password protected to help prevent unauthorized sharing and piracy and stuff like that. The password can be found in the same exact location that you downloaded your avatar files from, be it within your email or within your account library, assuming you bought it from a site like Gumroad, Booth, or even Jinxy. Once you've got it, feel free to right click on the file, hover over WinRAR, and select Extract To. At this point, you'll want to enter the password and hit OK and then your files will be extracted into a folder on your desktop or file location. Now that we have the files, we'll do the exact same process that we did with Poyomi. You'll locate the avatar's Unity file and then drag it into the project window. When you get your pop-up, simply hit import and follow the exact same steps that we did with Poyomi. All right, we're almost there. You should now see a folder with your avatar's name. Open it up and look for a file with the Unity icon and your avatar's name. Click it and your new avatar will pop up within the same window. Looking good, right? Now head on over to the top of Unity and locate the VRChat SDK tab. Then select Show Control Panel, log in with your VRChat account credentials, and once you're inside, go to the Builder tab. From here, choose your avatar from the dropdown, give it a name, give it a description, and always assign the appropriate avatar tags. If you need a thumbnail, we've got you covered. Just check the texture maps folder, find the image, and upload it through the VRChat SDK's thumbnail section. Now for this tutorial, this is for PC. So make sure that you select the Windows option located at the very bottom. If this was a mobile or Android build, we would switch this to Android, but for now we're going to keep it as Windows. If everything was done correctly, we should now be able to click the Build and Publish button located at the bottom of the window. Go ahead and click it, and if Unity prompts you with any sort of autofix messages or fixes, feel free to go ahead and approve them. This could take a few minutes. And voila, your new Eden avatar is now uploaded to VRChat and ready to rock. If you run into any issues, feel free to hop in our Discord server and open a support ticket. Otherwise, that's it folks. We can't wait to see you enjoying your fresh new virtual look and wanna thank you for buying one of our avatars and supporting New Eden in the process. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.